brewing this morning. Uh, some college students could be getting free education. How cool is that? Not, not here in Connecticut, but in New York. Uh, it's about to become the first state to make public colleges tuition free for all residents who have families that make less than $125,000 a year. Uh -huh. And those eligible will save around six thousand dollars per year, which hey, that's something, yeah, right? Stretching your dollar. Right. They, now they will still be on the hook for fees, room and board if their student chooses to live on campus, which can add up to fourteen thousand dollars a year. But how great is this? And you know what happens is when one state does something, then... other states kind of take notes, see how it works out. We're not too far from New yeah. York. I'd, so. I'd be curious to see how it affects the actual state because I mean that's a that's a source of revenue for the state of New York, state of Connecticut. A source of revenue, but also. So if you have these people not spending so mm. much, maybe they're spending it elsewhere. Ah. It'd be interesting to see where the economic boom happens, that if is at all. True. So we'll see. CT Style has uh, slowly become a financial show <laughs> this morning. You know, we're talking about the Dow Jones soon. Uh, but I, I think this is great. I went to Central, you know, public school here in Connecticut, and I know, uh, you know, I'm a big believer in it. It's all, it's all what you do after you graduate. It's not necessarily Definitely. what you do there. So it's like if we could make education more affordable mm -hmm. and people could get through it and succeed afterward, I think that would be great. No matter where you go, just apply yourself. That's it. And you could be Ryan Christopher on the couch of yeah. CT Style. I could think of many other things that you would want to be in life. <laughs> okay. All right, here's a great story. Have you ever caught yourself talking to a pet as if they're human? Or naming a car. I'm yeah, gonna get you on something. Maybe, you ever name yeah, a car? Yeah, no, but my cat. I talk to him like he's. I, I, I a real knew person. it. Okay, yeah. so you may feel a little strange when you're actually <laughs> talking to your pet, but a new study finds, and this will make you feel good. It actually means you're pretty smart. Oh. Yes. Are, are you guilty of this? I feel oh, like. Oh, yeah. you know I talk to Benny. <laughs> a University of Chicago behavioral science professor says when we assign human-like characteristics to animals or other objects, like a car, it's a character that makes humans uniquely smart mm. because no other species has this tendency. You know how people will name their cars or boats? Right. They'll refer to their house plants as he or she. You know, we can refer to the stock market as being angry right. today. Right, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is what this means. We're applying these human characteristics. No other species does that. Well, that's good. If all, all those uh, smarties out there. But, I mean, could you imagine if we talked to each other like this? If, if you're talking to your dog, Benny. Hi, Benny. Oh, oh Laura, such oh, a good girl. Come hi, Ryan. Oh. Who's a good boy? <laughs> That would just be really bizarre. <laughs> so keep talking to your pets. You're not insane. You're brilliant. You're a genius. Yeah. That's it. Good news there. Hey, uh, in the love department this morning, you know, many college students are swiping left, swiping right on Tinder, whatever it may be, to find love. But now one student in Minnesota, she's sort of going old school, or what they're calling old school, although I've never heard of this as a thing. It's more like something out of The Bachelor Bachelorette. Uh, Taylor Seeley has decided to make a boyfriend application. It's a three-page questionnaire with some obvious questions like favorite food, TV, pets, whatever. Uh, but there is a deal breaker in this case. If you don't like cats, you can't date her. Oh, do you, I mean, you like cats. I do right? like, yeah. Okay. So That's... I, I, I think she's got a nice criteria there. I've always thought that this was like a joke. When someone's single, they say now accepting applications. Yeah. But no, she's the real really deal. accepting applications. What do you put on there though? I mean, isn't that a little pretentious of her to say like, hey, if you want to date me, you got to fill out this. Form, isn't that to each his own, lot? right? Well, I mean, if that's her thing. We did oh. uh, find back in the uh, in what the archives it? here. This is the Hutch love application. <laughs> uh, very high standards. This is uh, from a few years back. We see uh, must be a ten in the looks department. You, oh, you, you've my achieved gosh. that. Uh, must be smart, yeah, and must love watching local news. So oh, looks my like goodness, right? Your man checked <laughs> off all the. Find this. <laughs> never know what you're gonna find here in the uh, in, in the set. All right, yeah. So love applications. I guess that's a real thing. And okay. Man Many parents know in order to get your baby to sleep, sometimes the secret is, I'm sure you've heard this before, riding in the car. Riding in the car. Parents, how much gas have you burned just <laughs> keeping your little one asleep in the back seat, right? Well, we are tapping into a phenomenon now. Ford has created a prototype of a crib that actually simulates a car ride. What? Yeah, you don't waste gas with this one, yeah, I that's, guess. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the Max Motor Dreams looks like it's a uh, designed bassinet from the outside, but then there's a speaker uh, that the baby can play with inside with engine sounds. They actually have sounds of the engine wow. in there, and there's also like LEDs to make it look like they're driving down the road with lights. 
which right. is pretty incredible. I, I fall asleep every time I'm in a car. I'm not saying I've fallen asleep on the job in the passenger seat on the way to a story, but <laughs> hypothetically, if I did, now I know why, because when we're little, we sleep in cars. Cars are so soothing. How cool is that, though? That that thing's up for, for raffle. Yeah, don't let that crib go out yeah. if the battery dies or Can you imagine? the outlet. Yeah. Come on. Um, what, what are you doing? Yeah. Start working. Start working. <laughs> hey, uh, we have one more funny story for you guys. Uh, now on to a celebrity uh, that could use this invention, right? Yes, Bradley Cooper. Oh. Look at him. He has his own Mini Cooper now. <laughs> the Oscar-nominated actor and model uh, girlfriend, Irina Shayk, welcomed a child two weeks ago. Good did, for him. Did he apply for the Laura Hutchinson You know what? I know. That would be a thing now. No, he didn't apply. We haven't heard yet if he had a little boy or girl, but we are so happy for them. I, Congratulations I, I feel like every family. woman is madly in love with this guy. He's like the alpha male on screen. But then off screen, do you think he's an alpha male or do you think he's like a... Oh, I have Warm, no idea. Loving. He seems like a sweet person to me, yeah. but I've never thought of that. People ask me that all the time. Like, Ryan, you seem like such an alpha male on TV. You're so muscular and so manly, and then, yeah. No, that's never happened. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway.